Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. This is the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck. You have help on the way, okay? So if you've been feeling like you're out in the cold or if there's been financial challenges or anything like that, help is on the way. Yeah, the hangman is here. So there's been delay. Ooh, five. Five of Pentacles, the hangman. Whoa. See, I knew the spirit wanted me to use. I never, I don't really use these cards, but something told me to stop and use these. You have five, five, five here. Wow. Wow. That's the five of pentacles, the five of wands, and the five of cups with the hangman. And here is the tower. Wow. Seven of wands, the four of swords, the nine of pentacles, justice. You have a huge breakthrough. And here is the hermit card. You have a huge breakthrough coming through, uh, coming in for you with your finances. The five of pentacles, the hangman. So you've had some type of financial delays. There's been setbacks. Okay. Somebody had to experience some kind of delay. For some of you, somebody could have been stealing something from you because I was I was hearing rewind. Some of you, you need to look, you need to look over some statements, financial statements. There could be an issue going on with the inheritance. Some of you, there could have been some type of, some of you, you need to amend your taxes. There's some money somewhere for you, or it's just an opportunity that's about to come out, come, come about for you. So you have five, 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 ooh, five of cups. Five of Cups is when there's been a loss. You're disappointed about something, but it's a serendipitous situation. It's understanding everything happens for a reason. Three Cups knocked over, but you still have two standing. Some of you, you've gone through a loss, but you still have your dignity. Okay? You still have your relationship with God. You still have your health. You're going to have to not look at this in such a negative way. Because if you do that, you're going to miss out on the new opportunities. And there's a tower here. So you're about to, there's a secret here or some kind of powerful revelation that you're about to receive about money, your security, your stability, your home life, your foundation. This could just be um, also just a, a shift in the energy um, where it eclipses. And so if you've had like a, a spirit of of procrastination what i'm really getting i'm hearing specifically you're breaking the spirit of procrastination and poverty off of yourself if you've been just stuck stagnant like i said procrastinating or whatever whatever that came from it's 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 about to leave the seven of pentacles is here coming on top of the five of pentacles so it's like somebody here it's like you i'm hearing penny with a hole in it Every single time you get money, it's going towards something else. You feel like your pocket just has a hole in it. That hole in your pocket is about to be patched. Seriously. And this I don't know what has caused this. Okay. It's an energy though. It could be because your, your heart chakra has been blocked. But there's a very powerful change. And here's the four of swords with the hangman. This actually is the four of Michael. This is saying that when you take a moment back to reflect on a situation, you're going to receive a lot of insight. There, there's going to be a download. Some of you, you need to get in a quiet place. You need to simply just meditate. You need to get into prayer, fasting, meditation, whatever works for you, for you to have um, some of you, you just need some rest. You need to just get a good night's rest. You're going to have a dream, a download, something. The five of pentacles, you're going to the nine. I'm sorry, the five of wands. There's been conflict, chaos. 
some kind of challenges around you, but you're going to the nine of pentacles. So you're going to get wish fulfillment here. And that's with your security and your stability. Then the five of cups is clarified with the justice card. So something is going to be balanced out. Where you thought you had taken a loss. It was a part of a divine plan. And then, yeah, the tower being clarified with the hermit. This is a spiritual awakening. It's, an, it's a revelation that you're having here for your own spiritual growth. Wow. Five, we now have 55, 55. All four of the fives are out here. And this is the hierophant. Wow. Okay. Whatever this is, it's really, really big. It's like you've been... So, on this card, let me see what it says. It says, the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. I'm telling you, it's a spiritual awakening. Somebody now you have discovered that you were called and chosen... I feel to break poverty off of your life, your family, your bloodline, whatever. You had to see some type of hardship for you to understand it. You could be the person, if it's not just poverty, I mean, and this could be poverty and finances, love, or whatever. You had to go through a, a period of, for some, with the hermit car, isolation, poverty, or whatever, because... Maybe you're meant to teach and guide other people, or this was the way that God kind of led you back to him is through a hardship. You know, we always say God shows up in the midnight hour. You had to go through something for you to understand the importance of your relationship with God and you, you having this higher level of consciousness, having stronger faith within yourself. Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, King of Wands, The Star, Knight of Wands. Yeah. And here's the moon. So this healing, somebody is going, I feel, from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. I actually, it's, here's the progression. Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands to the king of wands and with the eight of swords being here this is freedom from some kind of mental entrapment look at how this person is I, you know honestly i never really have paid much attention to the images on these cards but you have like archangel michael that is opening something up for you somebody has been gatekeeping some kind of information a blessing money or something somebody has been purposely holding something back from you or it just wasn't time for you to experience something because you had to you had to go to battle for whatever this is it's like for you to get whatever this spiritual inheritance is you had to go through this hardship you had to complete this karmic cycle now you have the six of pentacles this says your material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Wow. This the six of pentacles. It speaks of generosity. It's equal give and take. So your acts of kindness towards other people, even when you didn't have enough, they never went unnoticed. Some of you, when you didn't have anything, you were still giving to other people. Just I'm picking up a very selfless type of person. And because of that now. You're going to experience a wish, a dream come true. Wow. The star, the moon, the lovers. This is, um, it says solutions, but this is actually like the temperance card. The empress and the strength. It doesn't matter if this is a male or female. Somebody now is gaining the insight and the clarity through this spiritual journey, this revelation. They're making choice. This card, the lovers, somebody is making a choice from their heart now. So this is even if it's career is you finally chasing after your dreams. You're doing something that you truly, truly want to do something that makes you happy. 
and this is bringing a solution to someone it's a person though who this is a temperance energy it's doing some having patience being forgiving kind having control having the strength to create something The Empress and the Strength is here. So somebody here is gaining like so much grace from God because of their ability to be kind and forgiving in the face of, of challenges and adversity. This, somebody, this was a major spiritual test. If, if you notice, I don't know how well you can see all these cards, but these are all majors. The Moon, the Lovers temperance okay so somebody is being divinely guided to someone these are all majors all major arcana cards this this deck has been shuffled plenty of times not to mention the fact that we have wow this entire reading you also have the hierophant the hangman the tower justice and the hermit all majors this whatever this is it's it's life changing it is life changing heavy emphasis on a fire sign either you're a fire sign or you're dealing with a fire sign this isn't anything negative it's just and whatever the spiritual battle or challenge has been it, it really doesn't even matter what it is this is beautiful it's amazing truly I mean, these are all majors, this whole row. And then check out all these cards are purple. Somebody here, you're, you're, you're like of a, a royal bloodline. You have a royal bloodline inheritance, but to receive it, you had to, I just keep here, it's poverty. You had to break the spirit of poverty, which is coming with procrastination and other things like off of your bloodline. But because in the face of adversity and challenges, you were still generous, you were still grateful and humble. That's the reason why the seven of wands is here. You've had so much protection because somebody here has made it a point to stand up for their beliefs and to do what was right, no matter what was going on in their environment. This is somebody who, when they had nothing, they still, they didn't turn to doing anything that would be lack, lacking in integrity. They, they didn't turn to the streets. They didn't try to, you know, swindle or, or, or be a, a scheme or a scammer. This is somebody that just waited. This is somebody's patience being rewarded. Like, even when they didn't have anything, they, they were still given to other people or they just had a good, kind heart. Wow, beautiful, okay. Ten of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody here has, has been overburdened by so much. But I said Knight of Pentacles because I saw this green, but this is actually, this green is for Heart Chakra. This is, a, this is actually the Knight of Cups. Despite somebody's challenges, they always had an open heart. This is also too, um, the type of person, even when they are down bad, they still show up in their relationships with soulmates, friends, family. I just saw 1555, 555. This is the kind of person, challenges don't make them go and hurt other people. For some of you, it's very beautiful because this change could be taking place either within you or somebody that's about to come towards you that has love for you. Somebody is, is about to receive help. That five of pentacles and this ten of wands, somebody's going to receive help. And once they receive this help, they're going to be very committed to their loved ones their family, their friends, even a romantic relationship with the Knight of Cups being there. 
I'm also getting to, it's like somebody has prayed for a, a partner, whether it's business or romantic, they're receiving it. Somebody's partner is going to change their life. I'm serious. Somebody is, is going to fall in love with a very, very humble, selfless individual. And when you get with this person or when this person gets with you, it's just good karma. It's going to just start flowing. Because somebody here is going to truly recognize the selfless spirit of another person or somebody is recognizing this in you and I'm t they're just going to pour so much love into you. your gift, your spiritual inheritance is coming in the form of the, a huge financial breakthrough, but your financial breakthrough could actually be connected to this Knight of Cups. It's a partnership here. This is like life partnership. You're going to Live with this person, work with this person, travel with it, everything. Your good karma is connected to this person because it's an earth angel. Somebody here, you're you're going into a connection with an earth angel. Or you could be the earth angel. It, it's two earth angels, but one of you has been guided to some to the other. You and this person have been guided to one another as a blessing. Yeah, look, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Eight of cups page of swords and the nine of cups wow and the four of wands wow a king of pentacles you have a king of pentacles with the eight of cups this person is getting on their journey they're walking away from something like this, this masculine for some, this is who is breaking away from like either. Okay. With this whole spirit of poverty thing, this is someone here who is either a workaholic because they are afraid of being in poverty because maybe of the past or they feel like they need to carry their family. Whoever this is, they feel like they need to carry their family. They've been chosen to do that. Either they're a workaholic and they're finally about to go after love. Or this is a person who is truly a lover, but they, they're lacking stability. Regardless, though, of which side of the coin they're on, this is somebody who is dealing with the spirit of poverty. The spirit of poverty, either this person, they just cannot make money or they have wealth, but nothing else. Somebody is walking away from their mindset when it comes to security stability that has been um, warped, I would say, because of a, a poverty mindset. The Page of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, somebody is now looking into a new way to make money. A new way to have security and stability. Somebody is looking into, this is the nine of cups. This person is looking into love. Four of wands. Somebody wants to follow their heart. They want true love. They, they, somebody is really, they want money. They want love. They want wealth, security, stability. They want a happy life, happy home. They want to celebrate. But this person, they want to, somebody here, this could be you or this other person. Somebody's like, I want everything. And there's something here that has been lacking. Either someone has been lacking in love because they're a workaholic or somebody here is an excellent partner, but they lack money. To have a, a, a balanced partnership. Ten of Swords. There's a cycle, there's a situation here that has ended. And somebody is finally free. Oh, this is good. Because this energy, this poverty mindset or spirit is being eclipsed out. So somebody now is finally going to be free, to be completely happy and fulfilled. The wheel with the freaking king of cups and the high priestess. Three of wands. So that's what's coming in. 
It's a new beginning. The King of Cups is coming in. This person wants to be kind. They want to be warm. They want to be generous. This is the person of like they're honorable. But again, either they work too much or they every time they make money, they lose it. This person could actually be a people pleaser. They've been convinced that they should always give. Whether they have money or not. This person is always taking care of other people. Spirit is saying, and if this is you that's in this energy, Spirit is saying, you need to allow yourself to receive. The high priestess is here. The high priestess with that um, tower in Hermit, this is a spiritual awakening where somebody is like, oh, wait, I think I need to do something different here. And they're, they're picking up whatever spirit is putting down, they're picking it up. And this is um, the three of wands is a planner. Whenever I see three of wands to me in my mind, I see vision board. This is a visionary person. They plan ahead. They wait for their ships to come in. Somebody is being rewarded for their patience. This is not a, oh, let's get rich quick type person. No. Ace of Cups, this is a real lover. Six of wands. This person is someone, this is a really nice person. This is you or whoever you're connecting with. Or, of course, both of you. This is the person who feels like there is no success if it's not love. They don't want to do something that they don't love. They don't want to be with people who they don't love. They want something that's positive and it's emotionally fulfilling. But somebody really, really wants true love. But, again, you can take it however it resonates. Somebody wants true love. But either... They're, they've always been in loveless relationships because they were focused on money or somebody has always had a lot of love but no security. And honestly, because I keep getting these two different, I feel like this is two people. It's a feminine and a masculine. The two of these people, this is a, a couple coming together. They both have something to offer. To, they're supposed to come together. To have it all. That's why I said you're only going to have it all once you have this other person. That's not everyone's message because I know some people are like, well, no, I don't want to be with anybody. Okay, that's fine. This has to do with somebody maybe just going into union with yourself, balancing your feminine and masculine energy so that you have a balance of love and security and abundance. So this is either you just getting your life together and having balance. But this also could be a couple. This is a man or woman who they only have one or the other. It's either love or it's money. They're meeting somebody. It's either love or money. Together they can have it all. It's amazing. Yep. Ten of pentacles. I'm sorry. Eight of pentacles. <laughs> I see the ten of pentacles here in the reverse. So what did I say? Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here is always taking pride in their work. Eight of Pentacles, that's a lot of hard work. That's the kind of, it's like they're a workaholic with the Ten of Pentacles. They still don't have the legacy. Somebody's just working, working, working. They make all the money, but they don't, they don't have a legacy. They don't have a family. Leap of faith. It's it's a new beginning. Wow, in the world. Something closes out. It's wrapping up. And look at here at the two of cups. So this is about a partnership. It's two people coming together. Two of cups. Oh my gosh. And the ten of cups came behind it. Two of cups, ten of cups. Two people, when they come together, I'm telling you, they move right into crazy love abundance like it's real love the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles is out here and the ten of pentacles for me is it's just that right now somebody has been working really hard and they have not achieved a long-term commitment marriage a legacy it's because like i said in the very beginning somebody's heart wasn't in something because somebody has just been focused on the results 
you know, start the business, make the money, go to school, go to college, do this, do this. And their heart wasn't really in it. Now that somebody is becoming heart centered because they're going through this ascension, connecting with their higher self, with their spiritual team, somebody's spiritual team is guiding them to a, a person that's an earth angel. And when these two people come together, look at how they have their, heart, their hands together. When they come together and they have this energetic exchange, it instantly is going to turn into the Ten of Cups. And when it becomes the Ten of Cups, this Ten of Pentacles that was upside down will be in the upright. So it's a clear message here. Some people may not like it, but the Four of Cups is here. Okay? Some of you... Again, a big part of your journey, it's connected to another person. You may not know this person yet, but they are entering your life soon. The Four of Cups. Somebody has been stuck feeling like, some, like it was just a missed opportunity for them to have wish fulfillment. It's because somebody has been either single and broke for a long time or rich and alone. For a long time. Ace of Wands. But here comes the passion. Here comes. The luck. And the blessings. And the passion. You know I'm sorry. The, the colors of these cards are throwing me off. This is the Ace of Pentacles. It's an opportunity. I'm associating pink. With like red and, and wands. It's actually the Ace of Pentacles when I look at the image on the card. So it's new resources. It's money. So again, this could be somebody who has been lacking in financial security or stability. Whoever that is, they're about to receive the, the resources that they need to be able to build. When they have the resources plus having a good heart, they're going to make an excellent partner. Somebody is about to, and here's a seven of cups. It's time to take action. It's nothing really to be confused about here. Somebody has made a decision too. The decision may have been harder to make because somebody here was afraid of offering love because of their financial situation. Or someone has been afraid to offer or receive love because of a family situation. Family and finances has had a person or two people in fear of a serious long-term commitment. Somebody here could come from like a, a very dysfunctional family. They're so afraid to create a dysfunctional family that they've just been working, 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 working. They're making the money. But they're too afraid to have a family until they feel like everything is perfect. Then you have a person out here who, you know what this reminds, reminds it's like two people who come together. One has been raised off of survival and the one has been, and then one has been raised off of love. But they both have something in their, their shadow related to their family they needed to be healed before they could go in union. But this is two people who both have like some kind of royal bloodline or something. This is two people who are both chosen coming together after they complete their mission. So it's like somebody here is chosen to be the person that has love and, and marriage and happiness in their family. Somebody has been chosen to be the one in their family that... um can have the security, the stability, as well as marriage and a legacy. I have a reading a few months ago where I said, you have a generational curse breaker and a legacy builder coming together. Both of these people are breaking things off of their bloodline because when they come together and create something, it's going to be a fresh bloodline. Like these two people, they have a children or a business, that spirit of poverty, the spirit of narcissism or whatever, it, it won't, they're going to break it. 
So if this is two people who come together, if they have children especially, their children will be born completely free. Whatever they will, whatever curses or hexes they were born into, generational patterns, their children won't be. So they had to go through things in their lifetime to learn these lessons. Like it, it was part of just the, their journey. They had to do it. Yeah. Nine of Wands, Three of Swords. This, this is a lot of resilience despite the heartbreak. And I feel like this was somebody who was. I'm hearing um, Janae Aiko's song, um, Born Tired. Somebody's like, baby, I was born I was born tired. I was born into this curse of poverty, procrastination, no love. Somebody's like, I was born tired, but no, this changing. Wow. This is so good. Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who moves slowly. They have a very detailed plan of, of action. This card says being watched over by someone kind. Look at the card. You see like this earth angel person here being watched over. So for some of you, yeah, you're being, you're being guided and protected and whoever this person is that's in your life or coming into your life um they're going to be devoted to making sure that you're protected so they're going to make sure that whatever you build that it grows for some of you it's a spirit guy but for some of you this is an actual person for many of you it's a love interest they are going to make sure that you're okay. But a lot of you, this is a spirit guide because you've been so brokenhearted. Three of swords here. You're going to grow from a situation, whatever the situation is where you've had to be so resilient. Now you have protection around you. You have like a, a dedicated angel passed on loved one, spirit guide, whatever. They're making sure that whatever seeds you plant, that they grow. This is so, so good. Two of Wands. You're moving forward. Six of Swords. Moving forward to peaceful, calm waters. You're taking action to make progress. Oh. To have peace. This card literally says peace. It says there is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. No need for you to focus at all like on the past. There's something greater for you. <clears throat> it's something greater. And you're about to see it. If you gave up any kind of like hope or anything like that at some point you're about to see why you had to wait on something because you have the two of wands and then the six of swords all you have to do now is make a choice to accept whatever this this goodness and this kindness is is being offered to you wow like literally that's all you have to do is just be open to this new beginning. I'm trying to find a certain deck here. I feel like it's a message that may be in it. And that's how I feel right now. Very peaceful. It's a very zen type of energy. Oh, wow. Let go. <laughs> this card says just let go. And then here it literally says let go and let God. 
it says once you let go of the outcome you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you yeah see this this is a spirit guide they're they're making sure that whatever you've been planting they want you to have this harvest they want you to have it they're gonna make sure that you have it because they're thankful i feel like you're a spiritual team they're thankful for what you've done while you've been here in this realm representing them that's why all of the the ten of cups ten of pentacles is here your spiritual team, they're happy i want to say too because this this is not focusing on the past, but for some of you, if you're struggling with letting go of something from the past, you could have a person from your past who was very um, like money focused, superficial or whatever. But remember before we saw the Ten of Pentacles was in the reverse. The last should be first and the first should be last. Somebody who may have been very money focused, who didn't really want to give you the time of day and be on this journey with you, they may see their resources dry up. And it's going to be eye-opening and awakening to this person that maybe they should have cared more about other people and love. Because when you get sick, hurt, old age or whatever, there's a lot of things that money will not buy. When it comes to the things that truly matter in life. Somebody is realizing that. Or for some of you, you have people in your family who know that and they're happy to see you change that course of act, change the course of action where you understand that something that your entire family has been focused on because you're turning a new leaf, you're going to be able to have whatever, you know, you've inherited from them and so much more. So again, recap, if, if your family was a family all about love, but they were poor because you're choosing not to just be crazy over love and obsessed over relationships and people, and you've actually done the work to have security and stability, you will naturally have love and security and stability. If your family was a type where everybody was concerned about working hard Nobody cared about love or emotional fulfillment. You're the person in your, in your family who most likely you're going to go after the emotional fulfillment. 